Sam Rockwell probably isn't anyone's idea of a suave secret agent, but that seems to be just the point for director Matthew Vaughn. He cast the three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri Oscar winner against type and let him rip with a witty, eminently watchable performance that lets him steal every scene he is in. If only the movie, Argyle, were a star vehicle for him in the same way that, say, Hitchcock's North by Northwest was for Cary Grant in its day, this pseudo-spy thriller might have been a classic. But unfortunately too much of it, especially the final half-hour of this two-hour-plus frenetic action picture, just throws it all against the wall to see what sticks. It will have your head spinning trying to keep up with a far too busy set of characters playing mind games with us in a twisted scenario that spins out of control and wears out its welcome despite the efforts of Rockwell to ground it in a promising, original premise that just never feels completely fulfilled. The picture actually opens with a sequence that looks like it is right out of a Bond movie as we meet Swaff's spy Argyle, Henry Cavill, his bestie Wyatt, John Cena, and alluring blonde Lagrange, Dua Lipa, as they get caught up in a cat and mouse game in slick, luxurious surroundings that all build to a dance to the death. This all seems typical Vaughn territory for his brand of action cemented in movies like the Kingsman franchise and Kick-Ass. But it all comes into focus when we cut to the real, instead of real, world and meet author Ellie Conway, Bryce Dallas Howard who is turning out her fifth edition in her Argyle spy novel series, and clearly what we saw before is all coming from her mind. Her world is staying at home with her perfect date, Alfie, who happens to be the cute cat she takes everywhere in a see-through backpack, when her mother-slash-self-appointed editor Ruth, Catherine O'Hara, criticizes her latest manuscript, Ellie reluctantly agrees to let her mom come for the weekend to offer tips. But the tables get turned and she decides to travel to mom's house instead, taking a train ride that quickly becomes terrifying as characters from her books become entwined with real-life spies working for an organization called The Division. It is run by the evil Ritter, Brian Cranston, who is bound and determined to retrieve an urgent file and discovers the only way to get it is through Ellie, who has uncannily clairvoyant powers and unwittingly matching her own spy plots to this real group who will stop at nothing to capture her.